Hello everyone, this is Voltaire42, back from hibernation. Let's see, eat a little pork chop. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. There we go. Okay. So, today we're going to do a little bit differently you know, in this recording session. I am going to pick something. I'm going to do it. But then, I am also going to try... I have a list of things that happened to me this week. And I'm going to be talking about them. And so, it, it's, for me, it's a lot. You know what, I'm going to work on this, since I already know basically what's going to be happening with it. Okay, so, uh, let's see, after my, after I stopped recording yesterday, something happened. Uh, we went, uh, if you remember correctly, I went out to uh, do my uh, grandfather-in-law's uh, trash. He had been, or sorry, not trash, recycling. He had been, uh, he had gone to the hospital. And unfortunately, that meant that uh, he didn't know whether or not I, I should go to his house since I do his recycling every weekend. <sighs> One second. Okay, I'm back. Uh, sorry, my wife needed me to help her out with something. Okay, so uh, let's see. After that, though, what happened is we went out and helped her. Uh, helped, uh, you know, we took out the trash and at which point we then Ooh, wow. Gold. I didn't think I had that much gold. Wow. I got to uh, smelt that up. Uh, at which point we did... Um, <laughs> sorry, I lost myself there. Uh, so we took out his trash and we came back. And, you know, we stopped off for some liquor. And uh, when we got back, uh, I... We walked in the door, and I went out. I went back out to the car to get the alcohol. Now, what happened is when I went out to go get the alcohol, uh, my our neighbor uh, came across the street, and she or not across the street, across uh, the lawn, is like, "Hey, how you doing? Um, just wanted to let you know we are pretty sure." that you've got a cat underneath your deck. And I'm like, oh, I've, wait, what? I've got, a, I've got a cat under my deck? And she's like, yeah, we're, we're pretty sure you've got a cat under your deck. I'm like, what, how do you know? And she's like, well, you see, you know, we, of course, she's like, you know, that, that our one of our dogs has been like standing over by your tech or by the fence the entire for a long time he's been just looking through the fence at your desk deck and he's just been sitting there all day and we can hear meows every now and then we're we're, we're pretty sure you have like a cat and so you know me and her both go into the backyard and we we take a look and we have a cat. It starts meowing, and I mean, it, it's fairly obvious. We have a cat living under our deck. And I'm like, oh, of course. It's just like, of course this happens. And so, but it's even worse than that. We, just from like the sound of it and everything, it's like, it's not just a cat. It's... It, it's a kitten. It's we don't just have a cat under our deck. We have at least some kittens under our deck, which means that there's probably a mama cat. Which probably means that our that <laughs> it means that you know the the mama cat at that point we're like yeah the mama cat has probably given birth underneath our deck and she's like yeah you know this happened to uh, our neighbor. On the other side, a while ago, her, you know, she had some cats 
uh, that decided to uh, give birth under her deck and some things happened. So we're like, oh, sheesh. So this happened on Saturday. No, sorry, Sunday. And, you know, I, I, you know, she goes back over to her house and I go grab the alcohol from the car and I go in and I tell my wife, hey, um, so news. We're, we're, we're pretty sure that there are cats under our deck. And she's like, Wait, what? And I'm like, yeah, um, there's meowing and it's, we're, we're, we're pretty sure there are cats under the deck. And she's, and she's just flabbergasted. She's like, oh my God, seriously? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's just, it really is. It's unfortunate, but you know, it, it happens. <laughs> And, you know, we go out there again, and we check things out, and, I mean, it, it, it's quite obvious that there are some cats under the deck. <laughs> so, you know, we were like, okay, uh, what are we going to do? And we're like, we have no idea. So, we've decided, you know, we were going to, we're just going to try to let them, wow, I cannot believe I just tried to do that. That is the negative effect of going on a server all the time, that you're allowed to sell things. Uh, so, yeah, so, you know, we're like, oh no, what are we going to do? We literally have cats on our deck. We have no idea what we're going to do about this. And, and we're like, okay, we just, there's nothing we can do right now. We just have to wait a while, you know, and sort of s see where it goes from here. Because, you know, we can't rip up the the deck and get the cat out. So we just have to... <sighs> Seriously, we just have to wait. And it's like, oh my gosh. And part of that is just, like, you know, having to wait like that it just sucks. So it's like, okay, we, we just... that's That's number one. What we have to do is just wait and so we so that's what we do we we wait and you know a day goes by we uh we continue to look out for you know these meowing cats and all of that and you know we it's quite definite that we we keep hearing cats meowing underneath the deck and we're like okay yeah there's there's cats meowing under our deck. So we're so like okay, that's happening. That's still happening. <laughs> we're not going insane. Uh, and then the next day, where I'm at work, and so is my wife, and uh, she actually gets off and but I have a little bit more work I have to do so you know she's waiting for me to finish up and so that she can so that we can ride home and you know we're we're having you know she's talking to someone I'm I'm uh getting all my work done and she's like uh huh what I just got a call from a uh a number from a different state. And I'm like, huh, that's odd. And I remember I had gotten a phone call from some for from a number, but I at the time I wasn't in a position where I could answer it. So I'm like, huh, let me look at my phone. Lo and behold, there is a number from another state, and next to it it says uh, my neighbor's first name. And I'm like, huh. That's like all I'm thinking is, oh, did my neighbor, did our neighbor call us? And so I'm like, I just got a call from, you know, I think I just got a call from our neighbor. I, that, you know, and it's from, I think it was like a Pennsylvania number. It's, you know, I just, and it's from a Pennsylvania number. So maybe she tried to call you first or, she tried to call you, and you know, because she couldn't get a hold of me. 
And my wife's like, yeah, maybe you call her. So I call her, and she answers. She's like, hey, yeah, so one of your cats is at one of your cats from under the deck got attacked by our dog. And I just stop. I'm like, what? And she's like, yeah, so what happened is, you know, our dog, uh, you know, <laughs> okay, the dog's name is Indy, like uh, Indiana Jones, because of the, uh, in the movie, you know how they say, uh, we named, uh, you know, we named the dog Indiana. Well, uh, you know, he, this is, what? What kind of wood is this? Is, I don't think this is dark. I think this is spruce. Yeah, that's... Spr no, that's dark. Dark oak. Wow, that's a lot lighter than I remember. Okay, um... Yeah, so... That's... What happened. <laughs> and... You were like... Okay, um... We're coming right home. <laughs> and she's like... Yeah, you know, we've we've got a function we've got to go to. It our uh, our son, you know, something's at at, sc at his school. And, you know, I can wait a little while so that you can uh, so that I can meet you. I'm like, we're like, thanks, thanks, thanks. You know, we'll we'll, we'll rush right home. So we rush home, and we're like, okay. Um, so we. So we rush home, we grab the cat, and the cat is okay. But what happened is uh, there's another cat that they found just beyond the fence. They're like, okay, you know, here's the, here's the cat that we found. And if you would like, if there's someone that feels up to it, they can hop the fence and go grab the other cat. And so two seconds later... I hop the fence and I am and I'm going after this cat. Um did I yeah, no, I, I did too much there. Uh so I hop the fence and I'm after the cat. And you know, a f like a second later, that's me. I'm I'm over the fence and I'm after the cat. And, and <laughs> So yeah, I'm uh so but unfortunately the, the second cat got away and they saw it go back under the go back underneath the deck. And so we're like, ah, cannot believe that. Cat got away, now you know, we're now the cat's back under there. And it's like just just great. So we are you know, so there we are. We've got one cat, and we, there's another cat that we know about, and we're trying to make sure that you know we catch the other cat, and so we and we want to make sure that we catch this cat, and so what do we do? We you know I go to I go to PetSmart grab some, you know, grab some kitten stuff, make sure, huh, okay, yeah, I, I go to PetSmart, I grab food for the, for the kitten, I make sure that, you know, I grab some, uh, some other stuff, like kitty litter, just, you know, some, some basic things, some inexpensive stuff, so that we can, just take care of the cat till we know exactly what we want to do with it. And so we we uh we we have this cat now. And the cat was um That's not going to help.
Okay, that's good enough. So, so we're like, okay, um, hmm, we've got this cat, and we, we're trying to think about what we're going to do with it, and in the end, we're like, we have, we, we've got to, we've got to call animal control. In the end, we're just like, we've, we've got to call animal control, don't we? And so we, we call animal control, we get the, uh, you know, we, we we do put ourselves down as like a final contact in case the cat uh, dies, because you know we we love animals. We don't want a kill shelter to do it. If it comes down to it, we'd like to you know foster the animal type of thing. And so they're, they're like you know that's fine. We can do that. But just so you know, you know there are a lot of times when you put your number down as you know like oh this is the last resort type of thing. A lot. There's a lot of times when last resort happens pretty fast. Like the you know just you know call me if it's about to you know if the cat's about to die does happen pretty quickly sometimes, and they'll call you like within the next day type thing. So uh, you know, knowing that you know we we put ourselves down and. We, you know, we let the cat go, and of course, um, well, a little bit earlier, you know, I come back with the cat food and everything from PetSmart, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to try to catch this other cat. I'm going to try to uh, lure it out with some, with some food and get it captured, and I do that. I, I actually got the second cat out. And captured with with some food. Unfortunately, as soon as that happens, the cat wriggled out of my hands too fast for me to uh, get her again, and she went underneath the uh, the deck. And so the second cat was lost to us. And uh, I was, you know, I was really mad at myself for doing that because it's one of those things where it's like, you know, you know that this cat is not having a good time. It's not, it's out in the world. There's, um, it's starting to meow a lot. There's a good chance this cat is like its mother may have abandoned them. There's, there's a lot of things that could be bad with this situation and unfortunately that means that you know me losing her may mean that she's going to die because you know at least with me you know she she would have had a chance and there's a, there's another chance that you know within the next few days if we didn't catch her again she was going to pass away from, you know, not being able to find enough food if the mother had abandoned her and all these other things. And so it got to this thing of, you know, I felt extremely saddened and I felt like I sort of, you know, it, it was going to be hard on me to think that, you know, it's my fault for this cat still being out here and possibly dying. Oh, shit, shit. I did not. Nope. Die, die, die. So, uh, thankfully, you know, my... Oh, shit, 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 shit. Come at me, bro. I will smack you in the face. Why do I not have that, that, that? Yes, yours. Okay, um. Oh, no. Okay, so, yeah, so the...
so yeah, I uh, I was feeling like, you know, if I'm, you know, there's a good, there's a good chance that this this cat may not survive, and I feel like that would be my fault if it doesn't, because I had, you know, I had her in my arms, and if I, you know, if I had just held on a little bit longer, type of thing, so. Yeah, you know, before the night was over, I I tried a couple more times, and then that night, right before bed, you know, my wife and I go out there, and we literally like I sit there, and I literally like I'm fishing this cat out, and even my wife said like, you know, you're just sitting there, like you just sat there for the longest time, just like coaxing the cat out, like. Even, like, ow, even past, like, when she would have been just like, grab it, grab it, grab it. Because, you know, I'd had that interaction already with the cat where, it, where she'd gotten out. So, I, wow, that's a lot. Uh, so, yeah, so she was like, you know, you, like, you really, like, you were waiting. And I was like, yeah, I, because... You know, I had had that instance where she slipped out, and I didn't want it to happen again. So, I. So what happened was, I got. We we got her. Uh, that last time she. She didn't slip through our fingers. Uh, got her in a towel as soon as we could, at which point I was trying to take her inside, at which point she actually did get out of the towel at one point. And, but I got her two seconds later back in the towel. So, I mean, you know, regally little kitten and just, you know, wants to get out type thing. And thankfully caught her. And so then we had, unfortunately, uh, it was past the point where we could call the animal control again but so we like okay you know we'll keep her we'll see what we can do and you know we, we try hearing for more cats there's no other cats sounding off or anything so we're like okay it sounds like you know we caught it sounds like we caught all the cats you know that, that's great and we're like yeah no oh, that's 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 awesome so you know we're happy and you know, we're happy because that means that you know we've we've done what we wanted to do, uh, and we've got this cat, and we can you know sort of start you know looking for all the you know different things like you know making sure we can get someone to take care of the cats and you know all the all that stuff, and it's you know, we're able to move forward. And I have to take a break for a second but I will be right back. Bye. Okay, so I just noticed that my time is running long, so I'm going to take a break, uh, and I'll actually call the episode here, at which point I will I will come back, and we will... Oh, I will come back next episode, and we will finish this story and a little bit more of this as I talk. So I will talk to you guys in the next episode. Remember, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you know you feel up to it. And I will talk to you next time. Bye!